imagine. I had to burgle an imaginary shed. What? For my audition. I had to burgle an imaginary shed for this commercial. Is this live? My only audition this month. Did you burgle it method, though? What? I don't have a shed. Oh, come on. You know what they say. They say a man that moans about his audition is a man. Mm. I don't know. Just, just don't be that guy in it. I know, but shit, can I not just get one lead role, like TV, film, theatre? Bro, you should be lucky that you even get an audition. All the roles for the black sassy girls and the Shaniquas and the girls that can kiss their teeth, they've already been casted this month. Man, I know some white guys that are getting like 10 auditions a month. The roles are just there for them. I'm sick of getting ignored. Maybe you're just shit. We'll talk. I've thought about that. I hear you, but that's why we need to create our own roles, you know, write our own script instead of moaning about it. Praise the Lord for Shonda Rhimes. Well, we do. We're writing now, but my mum doesn't care how many YouTube hits I get. I want to be the next black Doctor Who or or a mad scientist that, that discovers the code to... To, 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 to cream your knees. Mm. How can you... Rude. But yeah, I, I guess. No, but seriously, I still can't believe that we're in the 21st century and filmmakers are still making films with an all-white cast, like, on the regular. It's ridiculous. I swear, the Oscars, they're just... It's so uninspiring. And the BAFTAs. It's the studios. They think that they can't sell to Europe with a lead actor called Mohammed so-and-so. Some dude said it himself. I blame them. I went to the cinema the other day. I watched the last Rascal Hobbit, and I was trying to look for a black guy like, "Where's Wally?" <laughs> I still ain't found Wally. <laughs> and my brother, my brother goes, "Oh, uh, the orcs are black, though, isn't it?" Oh, that's, that's so rude. See, this that is why I there. love John Boyega. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I love John Boyega. If I met him, I would be a fan girl. Like he is like the messiah for black actors. We would suit, when we, we suit, don't we? Calm down. No, but seriously, like, I would ask King Boyega to sign his name on my breast, but kind of like towards the collarbone, the top part, so you can okay. see it. He played lead, and he was black. Star Wars is like the Bible for white atheist. He ticked the diversity box. All those boxes he ticked. Well done, JJ. <sighs> Diverse, they love that word, isn't it? And BAME, sounds like a STI. Yeah. But it's not even just black actors, it's women, or if you're disabled, or even transgender. They look at you like you're some rare, shiny Pokemon on the screen, unless you're playing a stereotypical role. Can you imagine a show where a black, transgender, disabled woman was a lead, and being black, transgender, or disabled wasn't even spoken about? Fuck it. I'm boycotting the Oscars. And the BAFTAs, hashtag Boscars, hashtag boycott. You weren't invited. Yeah, but if I was, I'd swear a bit. But we need to just keep inspiring ourselves. We need to look locally and not wait for some establishment to tell us about our talent. Yes, preach. Right, now I've got to get back to the script and correct all the spelling mistakes that you've made. What spelling mistakes? I didn't make no spelling mistakes. What are you talking about? You wrote that. No, I didn't write that. You, yeah, you wrote that bit. It actually says your name as well.